Let's bring our feet together. Bring your shoulders back and down and stand as tall as you can. Okay, if you've got your mat, oh, I've not got my mat very centered. Okay, you should have your mat long ways. You're standing your heels right at the back of your mat. I've got mine this way because it won't fit that way. Turn your toes out at 10 to 2 and bring your heels the same distance apart. Have a look at your feet and just check the alignment. Hook, if you have them parallel, have them parallel. Sway forwards and backwards. Think about the soles of your feet and the pads under your toes and feel the pressure push down into the pads and then back into the heel. Trying to spread your toes out. Try to make your feet bigger, like a tripod, the big toe, little toe and the heel. Spread it out. The feet are sensory, they're your stability, they're your foundations. So try and get them firmly grounded into the floor. And we want the foundations to be equal so that that travels up through our body to the pelvis. And then let's pelvic tilt. Start to get some movement down into your lumbar spine. Squeeze your bum, get your glutes activated and your hip flexors. Turn that down a little bit. It's okay, so you can feel that squeeze in your bum as you tuck under and then back. And then we're trying to line up the aces bone to the pubic bone or your belly button and pubic bone. So you want to have a neutral, aligned, stable pelvis. Lengthen through your spine so if you're trying to elongate it, trying to create space between the vertebra. Get as tall as we can. Rest your arms by the side. Okay, let's start to breathe in through your nose. Widen full into the back and sides of the rib cage so you feel the ribs open and expand. And as you exhale, you feel the ribs close in and down. So that's a lateral thoracic breath. Or imagine like a 3D, 360, all the way around the ribs. And then just thinking about your center, your core, like a corset, big belt, and the pelvic floor muscles, just gently switching on so you feel that little contraction around your center. So we've got our alignment, our breathing in our center, so the three beginning parts. Let's start to mobilize. Roll your shoulders. Roll them around. Squeeze the chest, open the chest. So let's keep aligned, keep centered, and keep neutral. Focus on how we want our posture to be and the alignment of the joints. And relax the shoulders there. Now take the right arm and float and release, then the left. So as the arms are coming up, we're drawing the shoulder girdle down, keeping the neck lengthened, free from tension. And then we can go a bit higher, and you'll see how we keep that line coming down from the neck, so there's no shrug in there. All the way to the top, and then we'll go all the way to the top and down by the side. Both arms together for four, three, two, one. Put your hands on your bum. What does it feel like? Is it like a marshmallow or is it like a peach? Clench your bum a little bit and make it feel like a peach. Feel it tense up. Tuck your tailbone under. Engage your core. Raise your heels up and down. Raise your heels up and down. So you want to feel your bum tense it up. Now try not to fall over like I just nearly did. Raising up and down. So the bottom of your spine stays pointing to the floor. We're still aligned, we're neutral and we're centered. Add the single arm float again and lower. By all means, you can use weights if you want to. Just pick up some weights and go for it. I'm just going steady today. Both arms together, halfway and down. Halfway, 
Now take the arms out to the side. And down. Are you still clenching? And place the feet down slowly. We're going to go into lateral flexion. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, side bend. So if you've got any back issues, any problems with your bones, like osteoporosis or osteoarthritis, or any disc problems, you probably might need to make this a lot smaller. Tiny little move. To make it harder, we can reach up. So we're just taking our time with this mobility. It's been quite a few days, or nearly a week since I've, we've done anything, Pilates wise. We just sat around a lot, stuffing our faces, drinking. We've been a, bit, a little bit in, more immobile than normal. <laughs> so let's just enjoy this stretch and mobility. And this has got a nice beat to it as well. And both arms if you want to. Big reach over. And stretch. And back. Reach. Last one. And relax. Well done. Arms in a genie position. Inhale, exhale, twist. And centre. Rotation. Tuck the tailbone slightly down. Keep aligned and neutral and centred through the pelvis. And rotate through the spine. Looking over your shoulder. Draw down through the shoulder girdle. Lengthen your neck. Arms relax. Okay, take a step forward, raise the arms. Do a bow and arrow to the right. Take your arms forwards and then step back. Stride forwards left, bow and arrow to the left. Bring the centre and step back. And again, lift, pull, forwards and down. Now as you step forwards, the leg behind you, tense up your bum again, make it into a nice firm peach. We'll do four more. So you step forward right, tense up left. Stride, rotate. Two more to go. And one more. And back to centre. Okay, we're gonna work our way down to our hips. Okay, little hip hinge. Push your bum back, keeping the spine in neutral, and then bring it back up to the top. So just those hips, you're breaking from the hips. And then use your glutes and hamstrings to squeeze and bring it back. Now you can do this with the hands on the thighs. You can do it with the arms staying at the side of your body. A little pinch of the shoulder blades, not too much. Just so you're aware of your postural muscles staying switched on so you don't slouch. Hands across the chest. Or hands at the temples is a bit harder. So it's hinge. Have you got tighter in your hamstrings while well, we've not been doing much? If you've been doing a lot of sitting down, those hamstrings might feel tight. Well, this will help them. One more. Okay, let's take that to squat. So a little hip hinge. Lombo pelvic rhythm, squat, 
lift back in. So you always break from the hips first, hip hinge, then squat, and then bring it back up. Okay, so that's the order the body moves in to give you that best technique. It'll keep the knees behind the toes, and check the alignment of the joints. As you come up, you're centered, you're neutral, you're aligned. How are we getting on? Let's work your butt. Squeeze through those glutes as you're coming up. And again, let's go. Down and up. Down and up. So I've gone a little bit quicker now. Down, down, up, up. Inhale, down. Exhale, lift. Four more. Four. Three, you can take your arms higher if you want. Two, one more. Well done, and roll your shoulders. Let's take your feet wide. Rotate from the hip joint, your femur. So your hips, your knees, and your toes align outwards. Okay, you ready? Tuck your tailbone slightly under. This time, let's plie squat or wide squat. Now, depending on your hip mobility, if you can keep in a straight line, do that. If you can't, then it's okay. Just push your bum back a little bit. As long as you've got your neutral spine, take the arms out to the side. Let's go. Squeeze those inner thighs. I'm loving this new music. The trip to Goa. <laughs> now, imagine as you're coming up, you're deflating a beach ball between your inner thighs. Taking it down. Squeeze. Can you feel the big toe, little toe, and the heel under your feet on the floor? So we're not rolling inwards or outwards. You can feel the pads of the toes down on the mat. Well done, okay. We're gonna just turn, so one leg's behind and one's in front. Now, you can step in a bit to make it a split squat. So one foot's just slightly further back than the other. Or you can make it a lunge if you want to work harder. I'm gonna go from the split squat. Still hip distance apart. I've just taken a small step back with the right foot. Hands across the chest. Still same hip hinge first. Back heel up, off we go. Inhale down, exhale then we'll do 10. Two, squeeze. Three, four, how are we feeling? Five, see how my back's staying in neutral? Six, I can feel my upper back muscles working. Seven, to stop it from slouching. Eight, nine, Well done. Switch legs. Find your centre, find neutral, aligned. Off we go. Inhale down. One. Two. Three. Really pushing that front leg. Four. And then squeeze your butt. Tense it up. Five. Six, again, just watch this leg's not wiggling around. Seven. How are we getting on? Keep going. Eight. We've got two more. And you've got your last one now. Well done. Brilliant. Okay. Nice and easy there. We're going to take it down onto the mat now. And we're going to go into superheroes. 
Let's lower you down a little bit. Just a little tiny little bit. So I'm just going to bring yourself down. So we're going to be centered again. This time I want you to imagine you've got a tray of drinks balanced on your back. So on all fours, hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. You can do a little bit of flexion extension just to find where you need to be. Get a very, very, very slight curve in your lower back there. Oops. Just turn the music off. Huh? Draw your shoulders down and back. Now, I'm just going to watch your shoulder blades don't wing off your back. So push your sternum up towards your spine. Look just in front of your mat. Lengthen the cervical spine. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, gentle contraction through your core and take your right arm forwards, left leg back. Inhale, center. And again. So you're working on keeping your body really centered. Going out as you exhale, in as you inhale. Keep going. And in. You want the knee to glide in like an aeroplane landing. So it slides in. We don't want it to come in like this, have a look, and then have to drop down. It should glide. <laughs> Last one. Sit back into shell stretch. Take the weight out of the wrists. And just have a little wiggle around there. Push your bum back. Okay, come back up onto the hands and knees and we'll do 10 Pilates push-ups. So set yourself up again, same as that. But if you can, just turn your fingertips slightly outwards so your elbows turn in a bit more towards your ribs. Now if you struggle on the floor, you can do this against the wall, or you could just do this, a pet deck squeeze. Okay, so we've aligned hands and chest, fingertips slightly turned out. Are you ready? Push your toes into the floor, and move from the hip. Take your chest down between the hands, inhale, exhale to push, 10. Now, you want to lengthen your neck. Eight. Seven. Inhale down. Exhale at six. Five more. Four. Three. Two. One, sit back again. Well done, roll the shoulders. Stay kneeling. Okay, now, if you can do this with a band if you've got one handy, but if not, don't worry. We're gonna do the dumb waiter. So I'm just gonna do it without the band today. Because I said we're not going to do anything too strenuous. <laughs> if you've got one, pop it over your hands. Elbows stay tucked in, shoulders down. You're in alignment, we're neutral, we're centered. You can be up here if you want to. Squeeze your bum. Inhale, prepare, exhale. Rotate the cup muscles, rotation, shoulder joint. Okay, again, we've probably just been sat slouching, doing not much. This is a really good exercise to open up through your chest muscles from your shoulder and get a little bit of work into your upper back. Think about lengthening through your cervical spine, bringing your chin slightly back. And if you're kneeling up, get your glutes working. 
Peaches, not marshmallows. <laughs> so you want to squeeze. Or Christmas puddings. <laughs> mm. Stale ones. <laughs> Three more to go. So this is balancing out from the press up, so that works the front, and then we're working to the back with all the right resistance. Okay, and relax. Roll the shoulders. Seated. Okay. When you want to sit on the centre line of your mat. If you can have your feet together, bring them together. If you can't, then have them hip distance apart. Pull your bum to the side. Lift your chest up high. And we're going to go for a little roll back. So use your pelvic floor muscles, use your deep core muscles to help support the back. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, tuck under, a little flexion. Tuck your chin in. Inhale. Exhale forwards, all the way. And inhale, back up. Try it without holding on. Exhale, roll back. Inhale. Exhale forwards to the feet. Inhale, reset. So it's up to you how far back you want to go. You can try a little bit further. Tuck your chin in. Can you get the shoulder blades to tap? So if you struggle, Stay with your hands behind your legs and just do very small ones. Now, if you want to do straight legs, take your feet straight, tuck under, push the heels down. Oh, my belly is too big to get up. <laughs> okay, today I'm going to stay with knees bent, I find that more comfortable. You can, you can get more flexion, it's a little bit more comfortable if your knees are bent. I can't believe I just got stuck, that shows doesn't it? Two more to go. Last one. Goodness me. <laughs> Have a practice. Well done. Okay, so we're going to do, a, we're going to roll down the centre line of your mat. Check you've got roots. Take your arms over your head and take your feet forwards. I need to move. Okay, we're going back to basics. Leg slide with opposite arm pull over. So, on the centre line, draw your shoulders down, find your neutral pelvis, belly button and pubic bone in line, or the aces bones. You've got a small curve under your back, and your knees are hip distance apart. And imagine they've got lines on the floor in line with your feet as well. Chin slightly tucked in. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, take your right leg forwards, left arm over the head. Keep stable, keep neutral and centered. Inhale, back in. Exhale, other side. Inhale, back in. So the pelvis, the spine, the shoulder girdle, all stay still. And centered. Those of you who want to work harder, bring your legs up into tabletop. You can bring your feet together if you want to. Okay, and then keep going. Exhale away. Let's do 10 more. 10. 
Nine. Eight. Feel your abdominals drawing it in. Chin stays slightly tucked in. Look down your nose. Just avoid looking backwards. Four to go, I think. Four. Three. Two. One. And give the knees a hug in. And a little roll side to side. And stretch out there. Well done, good. Wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes. Well done. Okay, let's go on to our side. Again, use the centre line of your mat. So your arms on the centre line, your body, your legs. Just pull my pants up, pull my t-shirt down. <laughs> Okay, and we're going to bend the bottom leg slightly and raise the top leg to the height of the hip. Just bring the foot forward slightly. Just check that you're stacked and you're aligned. And we're going to do sideline leg kick. So, flex your foot, unless you get sciatica, keep it pointed. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, take the leg forwards in line with the hip. Point the toe, inhale, back. Off we go, exhale forward, inhale back, three, so everything's staying centred, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, so you feel it on your hip flexors and your glutes, ten, and then bring the knees together, bring them to the front line of your mat and bring your feet onto the centre line, raise your feet up for the clam, hand in front of your chest or on the side of the hip, keep the feet together, raise your top knee up, We'll do 10, and down, one, two, three, four, five, so see how the pelvis is staying really still, six, and the spine, the shoulder girdle staying centered, seven, Work the glute meets. Eight. Two to go. Nine. And one more. Ten. And relax. Take hold of your top foot and let's give the front of the thigh and the front of the hip a stretch. How are we feeling? So we're going to go on to our tummy next. So we're working our way around. So if we roll onto our front, and we'll do the swan. So check that you're on the centre line. Take your feet to the co bottom corners of your mat. Hands on either side of your head. The thumbs in line with the jaw but your hands are out on the side of your mat. Glide your shoulders down the back and you can walk your hips down as well. Lengthen the neck. Imagine you've got a marble in front of your nose. Inhale, nudge the marble. Exhale, lift, extend your spine. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, roll all the way down. Inhale, nudge. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lengthen. 
and exhale all the way down. Now listen to your body, you might need to make it smaller. Nudge, lift, lengthen. Okay, now I'm going to take the hands down to the sides. Nudge. Lift, squeeze your shoulder blades together, lengthen, fan the fingers up. And then all the way down to the beginning again. Nudge. Lift. Fan the fingers. All the way down. Two more. Nudge. Lift. Keep looking towards your mat. One more. Good. Lift. Fan stretch. All the way down. Well done. Push yourself into shell stretch slowly. Sit back onto your heels, push with your hands, or you can walk the fingers forward, feel a stretch in the back of your shoulders, and walk the hands in. Okay, now we're on to our other side. So we've done something on our back and our front and our side. We've done seated, standing, kneeling, all fours. So we're almost there. Okay, so, line yourself up, up to the centre line, then bend your bottom knee slightly, raise the top leg to the height of your hip, flex your foot, inhale, prepare, exhale forward to the flexed foot, point the toe, inhale back with a pointed toe, two flex, and point, try and keep as stable as we can. Three, four, five. So that top shoulder's backing down. Six, seven, eight, nine, and Ten. Well done. Good. So lots of mobility. We've got that flexion and extension in there. Now let's get that rotation. Bend your knees forwards. We've moved all our joints in so many different ways. It's great. Lift the feet up. Push the butt knees down. Okay, you ready? Inhale, prepare. Raise your top knee up only. Feel that squeeze in the glute meats. Inhale to lower. Two, three, four, five. And squeeze, you can press on that leg if you did before. to go, nine, and ten, well done, take hold of the top foot, let's stretch down from your thigh and the hip, so I just want to do a couple more, I want to do some uh, bridges, so we get our bum back and hamstrings working a bit more, and some more mobility through your spine, and then we'll finish with some hip rocks and stretches. So let's go on to your back again. Find the centre line of your mat. Just take your right leg up for a second, give it a little pull. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Change sides. 
do a little pre-stretch before we do bridges. Maintenance stretch, what you call it. Okay, so line yourself up, bring the feet a tiny bit closer to your bum and take your feet a bit closer together or if you want to put a block between the knees. Move everything away from behind your head and walk the fingertips to the feet. Inhale, pelvic tilt. Exhale, lift. Peel the spine off the mat. Pull the ribs in, squeeze your bum. Inhale at the top, and then exhale, roll all the way down. Inhale, pelvic tilt. Exhale, lift. Inhale at the top, draw ribs in, bum up. Exhale, roll all the way down. Inhale, pelvic tilt. Exhale, come up, raise your arms up and up to the ceiling. Inhale, and exhale to roll it all back down. If you want to take them all the way over, you can. Inhale, pelvic tilt. Exhale, lift. if you're okay with your back. Squeeze your bum, pull your ribs in. Bring your arms over as you come down. Pelvic tilt, lift. Squeeze your bum. Roll it back down. If you want to get deeper into your spine, if you're okay with your bones and joints, pelvic tilt, take the arms over, keep the arms there as you roll down, and you'll really feel a deep massage at your back, and then bring the arms over. Pelvic tilt, lift and reach, roll down with the arms there, Okay, just one more. Well done, give the knees a hug. Okay, take your right leg up, left leg forwards. If you want to, you can use a band. So I'm gonna stretch the hamstrings. I want your pelvis to be in neutral. Check the alignment of your leg with your hip on both sides. And then increase it a bit more when you can. So when you feel the stretch, relax. Give it a little pull. You can hover the other leg slightly up if you want to. And then climb back down and change sides. So up, extend. We just want to make sure we're not doing this, lifting your bum up. <laughs> so check the alignment through the joints, alignment through the joints. Increase your stretch when it relaxes. Keep holding that there for another 15 seconds. Will it move a bit further? How have we got on? And release, okay. Both knees bent, cross the right heel over onto the left knee, and then lift the legs off the floor. Stretching the piriformis and glutes. You can grab the leg underneath, or you can just take hold of your foot and knee and pull. Use the underneath leg to help. So you feel it on the back of your hip, your butt. All those peachy buttock exercises that we did. Switch.
increase a bit more. Okay, and now we're going to do our hip rock. We're going to take the feet towards the edges of the mat. We're going to do the fish tail. Arms out to the side. Just roll your knees from side to side. Just keep rolling. One way, then the other. Okay, roll to this side. Push yourself up to seated. We've actually gone on for a bit longer than what I expected to. I can never fit everything in an express one. <laughs> Soles of the feet together. Use your elbows to push your knees towards the floor. Stretch the inner thighs. How do you feel? Do you feel good? Do you feel better after a bit of exercise? Rock side to side. Use your elbows to push down against the knees. Chest up, lengthen the neck. Yes, love hearts, thumbs up, thank you. Thank you so much for joining me. Okay, sit comfortably. Hands behind the back, stretch open through the chest. Yay! <laughs> I love seeing those. They're like fireworks popping up on the screen. Oh, squeeze your chest. Yay! Take your arms in front, push away. Knock the chin. with one arm, big stretch, far over as you can, then the other side, well done, roll the shoulders, reach up and out, deep breath, in, and out, two more to go. And your last one. Take your hands together. Have you enjoyed, enjoyed your trip to Goa? <laughs> Take it down through the middle. Take it out. Well done. <laughs>